what's up guys Siobhan here back again with another video and I know guys I know there have been a lot of iOS 11 videos pushing out on this channel I just think they're fun to be honest and I'm not sure if I should just switch it back to jailbreak tweaks but let me know if you guys are enjoying it I think you guys are enjoying it it's the wave right now everyone's talking about iOS 11 so I think I should put a twist on it and today I'm going to show you over 20 over 20 tweaks that are found in ios 11 now when i say tweaks are found in ios 11 i know you guys are been going to be talking about yo this is clickbait but it's actually not it's 22 over 20 tweaks that are found in ios 11 now these tweaks are tweaks that were found in previous jbreak versions and they made their way over to ios 11 and they're called features so these features are tweaks that crept their way onto iOS 11. Now, a lot of these are things that Android users has had over years now on their stock Android without even rooting. But Apple is just basically adapting to it, making it even better. Now, here are a couple that I'll show you guys. The first one that stick out to me was the ability to move multiple icons at once. So the, the tweet that we use to move multiple icons at once in a jailbreak is called Multi Icon Mover Plus. And you can get this from Big Boss Repo. We should be able to do this from a long time ago because it's not like Apple has an app drawer or anything. So we normally have to move each app one by one. So if you have over four pages, that was just a pain in the ass. And I'm so glad that Apple implemented this feature another big boy that made his way over is screen recording so this tweak is from display recorder if you guys remember from Ryan Petrich and it's been an old tweak you could also use CC recorder now but this will just allow you to record your iOS device screen straight from your control center just like this display recorder from Ryan Petrich so that was a nice touch by Apple thank you so much Apple we appreciate it we deserve all of these new features next up we have the ability to change or organize or control center and we could do this with stuff like flip control center polis and all of these tweaks can be found down below in the description and also i'll leave everything like big boss repo whatsoever and this is just basically let us control how we customize or control center the looks apple didn't really give us the full feature of customizing as in moving it around you know but it's it's something there and it's something that we appreciate next up is CC data more so this is a toggle for cellular data within the control center and I was so shocked that Apple placed this it's just like they're on the jailbreak reddit and just looking at all the features and like man we have to use this so thankful that Apple added CC data more I mean wow I can't believe this is the Apple that we all know they're actually listening to us and next one is called CC low power and as you can see if you swipe up in the control center in iOS 11 you realize that you could add uh, um, a battery icon and that battery icon enables low power mode so the tweak CC low power it's similar it's just like it adds a low power mode to the control center which is just really easy I don't know why Apple hasn't added this a long time ago next up is the quote unquote dark mode in ios 11 called smart invert to me it's just not a dark mode that's why i didn't make a video on it because it's just not dark mode but tweaks that allowed smart invert quote unquote was tweaks like noctis for the control center and also eclipse 4 and i think there was one called uh i can't remember the other tweak but to be fair Eclipse did the job amazingly from Eclipse to Eclipse 1, 2, 3, and 4. All of those did amazing jobs. Some of these features are only exclusive to the iPad, such as adding multiple docks. So you could be able to add a lot of icons to your iPod dock. It's a great addition in iOS 11, but it just always been on jailbroken devices, such as Harbor. If you guys knew Harbor, you could add that even to your iPhones. I think Apple should have let us add more icons to our iPhones in iOS 11. That would be super cool, but no, they just made it exclusive to the iPad alone. So now remember, guys, if you take screenshots in iOS 11, you get the feature to mark up on that screenshot, save it, crop it, or anything before you're actually saving it to your camera roll. So a tweak that did this a long time ago was called iWhiteboard. I don't know if you guys remember those tweaks, but you could use iWhiteboard or scriblet no scriblet would be more familiar from sound more familiar to you guys but i've been jailbreaking for a long time so i knew about i whiteboard you can find both of these on big boss repo i am not sure if i whiteboard works with ios 10 but scriblet 
works with iOS 10. And just to be clear guys, I'm not saying you should try all of these tweaks on iOS 10. I'm not sure if all of them are updated. This is just a, like an educational or informational video for you guys. You know, just to drop some knowledge on what I knew about jailbreak back in the days. But anyways guys, let's continue with the list. And next up is the ability to use one hand while texting in iOS 11. Now this feature would be so amazing for um iphone 7 plus usually especially and finally apple has seen the purpose of adding a feature that allows us to type with one hand i don't know why they thought we could just use two hands every time so the tweet that allowed this was called one-handed and it wasn't a tweet that like they created it was just a hidden feature we found in ios 11 that triggered this tweak and yeah apple has basically been working on this tweak in the background and finally they pushed it out one-handed keyboard it's pretty cool in my opinion and the tweak for this is called one-handed next up is swipe expander so if you guys remember um if you had the keyboard you could just swipe up and reach like the number pad you could get the dollar sign you know all that other for example alt you like when you press alt and get the other um i don't even know what it's called but basically guys in ios 11 for the ipad you could just swipe up and you could get the number row on the keyboard just basically by swiping up on the top row so the tweet that allowed this in iphones and ipads was called swipe expander so yeah you just a swipe gesture to get like the number row and all the other additional characters in within the keyboard yeah another tweet that made his way over to ios 11 is called files or ifile now these can be found in the big boss repo as well these are applications so if you realize in ios 11 there's this new files app in and it's so close to files it, it almost looks the same with the app icon and everything so yeah it just basically a file organization system that that has been in jailbreak for over years it's like the first tweak i installed when i jailbreak my device and finally apple has adapted to it and they added it to their iphones as well next up is iCleaner Pro. Now it isn't just a carbon copy. The way how they did this is that they added a new storage management in iOS 11. So you could go into storage management and you could clean up a lot of stuff and unwanted applications you could just offload them and you'll get a lot of space. And also yeah just they've added a lot of storage management options in iOS 11. And that's inspired by iCleaner Pro. iCleaner Pro did all of this in the background just by touching one button. Some more stuff that I found was the ability to watch GIFs in your photo library. So this tweet called GIF Viewer that allowed us to do this from way back when. And Apple yet again has just adopted to it. But as I said before, it's better late than sorry. Or better late than never. Because, I mean, I, I am so appreciative of all the tweaks that apple has implemented in ios 11 some people are being like yo android had this for a long time but i don't care i mean apple is doing it and doing it better in my opinion so if we look at the status bar we realize that the seller bars are back i've always used this tweet called bars if you watch my videos you realize that i don't have the dots on my iphone because i hate it and yeah bars was a tweak that allowed us to have the old bars back on our status bar and that's what I used. Now Apple has brought it back. It saves so much space on the status bar. It looks so much cleaner. And I think it's just the traditional bars that just makes your phone look more like a signal bar rather than the dots. That didn't really make any sense in my opinion. Another thing that everyone's talking about is the less intrusive volume HUD. Now this is not really something that is system wide in iOS. It only works for example if you're in a video player. Video players could be found on Safari and all of that. So if you're just on your home screen and you turn up the volume, you'll still see the volume HUD that also blocks out like the app icons and everything. But if you're watching a video in Safari, it's really cool because you realize that there's this new volume HUD. And a tweak that allowed this was called um, Sonus or YouTube HUD. So our Instagram HUD. So all of these tweaks allowed us to have like a status bar volume HUD that basically allowed us to watch videos without the big square volume hood distracting us from what's playing. Another tweet that we found was blurred. So blurred is sometimes always in Twitter. If you go into Twitter and you're typing, you realize that you have this dark keyboard 
and it's really really cool how apple has implemented that well it's not really system wide but apple is always lurking with all of these changes you always find them somewhere somehow and if you look closely here you can see that blurred is implemented within the ios 11 beta so now in ios 11 we're, we, we have the ability to pin important notes so if this sounds familiar it's maybe because of the tweet called thumbtacks so initially thumbtacks allowed us to pin tweaks or any tweaks to the um pin notes sorry not tweaks thumbtack allowed us to pin notes to the top of our note list that we thought was important now in ios 11 you could do the same just by swiping to the right you'll get the ability to add stuff to your folder delete or you could pin these um, notes if you feel like. Finally, we could scan QR codes in iOS 11. And there's been this tweak going around such as native QR. And it has been a tweak that allowed us to scan QR codes. And now it's baked into iOS 11. All you have to do is just hold up your phone at a QR code. And then it will prompt you with a notification banner. You click that banner. It jumps on into Safari and you'll be able to go wherever that QR code wanted you to go. So that's another tweak that Apple took from like the previous jailbreaks and baked it into iOS 11 like nothing happened. So yes guys, while there may be many other features found in iOS 11 that was just red-handed copied from jailbreak tweaks, this is all I could find right now. If you guys know any more, please drop them down below in the comment section. And please guys, please tell me what video you want me to post next because I'm literally running out of ideas. So help me out, please, please, please. Yes, guys, so if you enjoyed the video or if it's your first time here, please subscribe and like the video, guys, because it keeps me motivated. And yeah, I just love to see the likes. I love to see the likes. Please stop disliking the video. I don't know why you guys are disliking the video because it takes me hours to edit. But anyways, guys, if you appreciate this video, drop a like down below. And I got this idea from the jailbreaker so if you guys know the jailbreaker you could go and subscribe to him comment down below that Siobhan sent you here so yes guys as I said before y'all know what I, I have to say always love peace and tweaks signing out see you in the next video guys